Philadelphia police officer suspended tonight. A closer look at the arrest that got him in trouble. All caught on cell phone video. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natasha Brown. Thank you so much for joining us. The officer was taken off duty after police internal affairs investigated his use of force during an arrest. The arrest happened in front of witnesses in the Kensington section of the city. And Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves joins us now live at Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the video and exactly what it shows. Alicia. Well, Natasha, that video shows a Philadelphia police officer picking up a man who was already in handcuffs. He was lifting him off the ground and then slammed him down. The man was slammed so hard that he had to be taken to the hospital that night and was in critical condition. Let's take a look at the video that I'm talking about and what it shows. Uh, the incident itself happened about a month ago, around midnight of July 10th, and people who lived on that street, East Elkhart Street in the Kensington section of the city, began recording because they were upset with the number of officers officers trying to arrest the man. Now authorities contend that he was resisting and additional officers were needed to control the man and maintain the scene. But the part of the video that appears to have the most people disturbed people there and higher ups at the police department is when the man being arrested is already in handcuffs by a patrol car. An officer, like I said, lifts him in the air, slams him to the ground, and the man's head hit what appears to be a pool outdoors, and it hit him so hard that, again, he had to be taken to the hospital. The officer seen slamming the man has been identified by the department as 26-year-old officer James Yeager. That was totally unnecessary, aggressive for no reason. He was already in cuffs. There's no harm that he could have brought to them cops. Nobody was in danger but him at that point. And what we know about Officer Yeager is that he has been with the Philadelphia Police Department for about four years. But as you mentioned, Natasha, as of yesterday, the commissioner has put him on a 30-day suspension with the intent to dismiss him after that 30-day period. Reporting live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Alicia Nieves, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you so much.